Howdy guys, Jimmy Song here. I wanted to talk in this video about what the Lightning Network is. A lot of people uh, seem to have a lot of confusion about what it is and some of the uh, you know, FUD that's going around about it. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to talk about Lightning Network and what it is. All right, so to, first of all, to understand the Lightning Network, you need to understand what a payment channel is. And a payment channel is sort of like a, a way to take an entry in a ledger and you know, spread it out. So uh, for, if you think of Bitcoin as a bunch of ledger entries, which it is, uh, there, you know, if Alice sends Bob 50, 50 Bitcoins and Bob sends Charlie 10 Bitcoins or something like that, and on and on and on, um, each entry has to be put into the blockchain. And that, that is what you would call an on-chain transaction. A payment channel is basically a way uh, to uh, make each entry a lot more meaningful. So for example, if Alice and Bob are uh, doing a lot of transactions, say they're doing a lot of business together, Alice sends Bob 50 Bitcoins, Bob sends Alice 20 Bitcoins, and Alice sends Bob 10 Bitcoins, and so on and so forth, you, you don't have to put each of those transactions on chain. That would be very inefficient. Um, what you could do instead is just put, net it all out. Um, say at the end of all that, Alice owes Bob like five Bitcoins or something like that. You just put the five Bitcoin transaction on chain, and you're done. Um, and that's essentially what a payment channel is. Uh, it's a way to compress a lot of different transactions into a single transaction. And if Alice and Bob do a lot of business, that's awesome because uh, you know you you can have a thousand transactions and you can just have one net transaction on chain instead of a thousand transactions. And the way that a payment channel works is is such that if either of them tries to cheat, they um, you know they they try to put a previous version of the transaction so that you know uh, Alice um, uh, instead makes it so that she owes Bob zero or some or Bob tries to make it so that Alice owes him ten and tries to put that transaction on chain. Um, the other party can basically take all of the funds in that channel. So if Bob has um, you know, 10 Bitcoins in the channel and Alice has 10 Bitcoins in the channel and Bob tries to cheat, Alice can take all 10. So uh, the game theory behind it is such that you are always incentivized to be honest because otherwise you might get all of your Bitcoins taken away from you. And that, that's what a payment channel is. It's, it's fully backed by the Bitcoins of the people that are involved. And this can be very, very efficient because you, you can more or less send money back and forth uh, trustlessly. And at the end, you just publish the, the transaction that nets out all of those things. Now, uh, if, if you have just a single payment channel, that's useful for Alice and Bob, but not really for anybody else. What's amazing is that if, you, if Bob has a channel with Charlie, Alice can now trade with Charlie through Bob. Um, so you need two payment channels for this. Alice has a channel open with Bob and Bob has a channel open with uh, Charlie. And all of those uh, channels are fully backed and that makes them completely trustless. And there's no central party or anything like that. Um, Bob is the facilitator of the transaction between Alice and Charlie. But Alice can now pay Charlie and you might have done this with your friends. So for example, uh, you know, if I owe uh, somebody some money, uh, say $20 and that person owes somebody else $20, I might just say, okay, well, you know what, uh, let's just cancel that and I'll just owe that person 20 bucks. That's more or less how <coughs> lightning transactions work. Alice can pay Charlie through Bob and that's, that's how, uh, what, what you would call a route in a lightning network and that's, that's how it works. Um, and once again, everything is trustless and it doesn't have to be just Alice to Bob to Charlie. It could be Alice to Bob to Charlie to Dylan to Erica to Farah or whatever. And it, you, can, you can go on for a very long time as long as there are enough funds in that channel. And there's no um, need for any sort of, uh, you know, uh, centralization or anything. You, it's all fully backed and it's completely trustless. And you can always go back on chain if you suspect that somebody is cheating you, in which case you can just take all of their money, which is great. That, that's, that's exactly how you want the system to run. Uh, but that, that's what a net Lightning Network is. You can have instant transactions. It's, it's just kind of like Alice and Bob that have a payment channel open. Um, you just keep updating that transaction back and forth until you are ready to settle that transaction. That's what the Lightning Network is and that's why it's so exciting.